a 5 minute walk from the Rialto Bridge over the Venetian Grand Canal, you can find a wonderful 15th century church called Santa Maria dei Miracoli. It is also known as the Marble Church, as most of the exterior and interior walls are covered with marble. And it is not just one type of marble, it actually is made of different types and colors of marble, including the finest available marbles from Greece, Carrara and Verona, where the red marble came from. In addition, precious purple red porphyry rocks and green verde antico stone is used for some colorful elements. It is not a church that dominates the skyline of Venice, and it is not located on a large square. It is rather tucked away in between the smaller canals and the narrow streets of Venice. The shape is pretty simple, just a rectangular one with an arch ceiling known as a barrel vault. On the ceiling are 52 panels with depictions on various saints and prophets, a pretty conventional topic to include on the ceiling of a church. The interior structure is fairly unique, though certainly not as impressive as some of the other Venetian churches. The uniqueness comes mainly from the large marble stairs halfway the church. They conveniently included two pulpits on either side of the stairs, decorated by several statues by Tullio Lombardo and Girolamo Campagna. The church was designed by Pietro Lombardo, whose main specialty were sculpting tombs for famous Venetians, but he was also a gifted architect. The church was built between 1481 and 1489, and the reason for its construction was basically to house an icon-like Madonna and Child painting by Niccolo di Pietro, as the painting was ascribed miraculous powers. And as you walk into the church towards the altar, you still cannot miss this painting. And so, the whole church was in essence a very expensive way to provide this painting with a place for worship. This painting was owned by the Amadi family, who came originally from Tuscany, and the expert eye may recognize some similarities with 15th century Tuscan architecture, like the Baptistry of Florence, which is also completely covered in marble. And while this may look like a church that fits nicely with the classical architectural style, if we look in some more detail at the south facade of the church, it becomes clear that Lombardo did not follow the classical rules, but just wanted to create the impression that this was an ancient church. For example, at the ground floor we can recognize Corinthian columns, and the floor above shows the simpler Ionic columns. The rules for classical architecture would never allow this, as the simpler columns would be below the more fanciful ones. I hope you enjoyed this video on the Santa Maria dei Miracoli. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more videos about art and architecture. Thanks for watching.